Hello YouTube and welcome to Transport Fever. Today we are starting with our beautiful Dakota flying over the town of Cockermouth because this is the place where we will be doing some changes. Uh, in the previous episode we have finally instituted our flight, you know, things that were, were, were actually to build planes, <laughs> added um, airport at the city of Meltham and at Brearley but uh, we need to be better connecting the other part of our network and that's more towards Siloth over there. So let us, enough with the viewing of our beautiful Dakota, let's pause the game, that was all of the movies that we were supposed to see. Now what I want to be doing is I want to be upgrading uh, the, uh, the Cockermouth station to be start taking in the passengers from Siloth. And I mean the Siloth, this will be like a short line going Eaton, Siloth, Cockermouth. Whether or not it will be continuing any further to maybe Ghoul or something, I haven't decided yet because I have no idea how to actually connect Ghoul, Blythe and all those cities over there. That also might be a thing to ponder on a future episodes, but I digress. Uh, before I do that, I want to be instituting some upgrades and um, the things that are some of my things are quite old, apart from the ships, which are as old as hell, but I don't think that I will be upgrading them uh, until we get newer technology. So yes, ships will be a little bit of older age, but they can, I guess their lifespan is a little bit bigger. However, we have here Brearly Food Delivery, Shipping Sodbury food delivery, Oakham food delivery, and I believe Winchcomb commuter and Cockermouth commuter, and the Goo food delivery, which is a bit oldish. The others I will take care on eventually. So vehicles, Chipping Sodbury food delivery, and that one is, I believe, let's just give it a quick look. Chipping Sodbury, yes, that's one that is delivering food from here there onwards. And I think it merits, it's a little bit longer line. We want to have the latest and greatest. So we will be instituting a replacement, not an automatic one, but a manual one with um, the Opel Blitz. And that Opel Blitz will give them... Uh, I'd give them a darkish green color because I think they will look pretty nice in that one. So, yes, and we will be replaced now. One million. We have 400 million, so it's not really a question even. Okay, that's one thing to take care of. Now, second thing that I wanted to institute is a little bit of an upgrade since we are doing here I want to give them you know bus lanes so they are not interrupted on their delivery route all the way to our warehouse yes I know they use the bus routes and I'm trying to support them with that respect Okay, so that's one taken care of. Then we have a Brearley food delivery, which is these guys over here. Sorry for a little bit of zoom in. But I want to take care of this quite quickly so that we can continue on our merry way. So you guys are going for a replacement as well. Opel Blitz, yes. Oh, hold on, Opel Blitz, I haven't stated the color. Opel Blitz, uh, let's give them this, I think this actually does like default color and I actually like it quite a lot, so replace now, 1 million, yes. Some hefty investments right there, but I mean, um, let's see, one building will be removed for this dedicated line, I don't get it why, but okay. If you say so, Chief. Hold on, let me just make sure that I upgrade along the line. Yes, upgrade here, here, then here, here, and then all the way up. 
I think you are missing an upgrade here. I don't think we need an upgrade here, but here it would be actually a good idea that we upgrade the road. And this is not a medium street, this is a medium road, if I recall correctly. Medium country road, yes. Too much slope, interesting enough. How about that? Construction not possible, construction not possible. What's your problem there, chief? So you could upgrade this one and you... Construction not possible. Oh, up upgrading on segment per segment. Oh, did I now just mess up the bridge? I think I did. Extra large street, hold on. Large country road. Yeah, I think this should be large country road, yes. Too much slope. Too much slope. I don't get it, but how about medium country road? Still too much slope. I don't get what is his problem, but small country road then. See? That works. I mean, even a slight upgrade over the previous one I consider to be a good investment. Okay, good. That should hopefully fix the Brearley food delivery. Now we have Winchcomb commuter and the vehicles running here are really ancient. Now I'm gonna move this windows a little bit. And I think they're covering everything as you can see by the station coverage. So the only thing that we need to do is how many people we have waiting here at the station one. Okay, so we only need to modernize the fleet. And given the fact that I don't want to be using, you know, <clears throat> I think capacity... Running cost 13, 21. I think this would be a little bit, you know, of a scenic, because the city is scenic. So let's give this here and let's put those in some... Uh, mm -hmm. What color would look good on this pale yellow, perhaps? Like, uh, I don't know. Let's replace them now. Yes. Good. Uh, do you need dedicated bus routes? So, let's see. Yes, you here, you here, 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 here. I think upgrading this will pay dividends in later on because right now we don't have that much traffic but I don't want these guys to get stuck you know in traffic queues and the rest because that would be just you know plain silly okay I guess I guess we could uh, follow you briefly until you upgrade I'm just curious how this guy is gonna look like and then we have uh, still Cockermouth, Commuter and uh, Goo Food Delivery which I think it was one of the long haul routes I mean it has been netting me some cash so we might as well you know look into upgrading it okay so sure let's take care of that business And there we go. And I think this color looks actually quite nice. Look at these. Uh, they're kind of funny, I'll take give them that. And you know, I'm still listening to see to hear if I will hear some turkeys. Because if we hear the turkeys, it's a signature for the series, come on. I'm really missing those turkeys. And yes, don't destroy the trees on the way here, but sure. Whatever. Whatever floats your boat, man. Very beautiful scenery. Any passengers? No. Okay, well, 
I think that does it for the winch comb, I'd say. Let's go on the cockermouth commuter. Let's check out those vehicles. Same ancient vehicles going on their daily business. And I feel cockermouth might need another commuter route because you see the city has developed quite nicely. So I'm going to pause it here. Um, first things first. Where are my bus vehicles? They're over there. First, we need to upgrade roads. Yes. Uh, speaking of roads, those roads need significant upgrades. So let's give them streets. Where is the street? So large street. Can we upgrade large street? One building, one building. We can upgrade this one without buildings being removed. I prefer to go with large street updates, upgrades wherever I can. Awesome. Construction is not possible. Why is not possible? Interesting enough. Okay. Well, we have you. Four buildings will be removed. I would not prefer not to. Buildings, buildings, buildings. Too much slope. Too much slope. Too much slope. One building will be removed. Okay, I think that gives it. So let's give those. Um, let's see if we can upgrade them at least to the medium street. These ones where we had building complaints. Two buildings will be removed. We can upgrade you for sure. You as well you as well and you are complaining about too much slope i don't see the slope chief but sure whatever floats your boat too much slope how about some road country road or something huh medium country road here too much slope too much slope i fail to see oh that's the problem so let's see if we can relay that a little bit. Main connection shall be interrupted. I'm counting on it. And this depot is in the way. I might need to relocate it a little bit. I dislike the idea of removing this house. So let me see if I can pull a kernel failure trick. See this and then I delete you beautiful then I delete you as well good so then we put um, not a country road but we will be using streets nowadays we want to be expanding the city here medium street going all the way here see no problems whatsoever but first let's apply a little bit of the Smoothertron here. Smoothertron 3000 for the win. Yes. Good. See? That. And uh, large street. See? No problems whatsoever. And then we could be instituting bus lane. Where did we start introducing the bus lane? Or we didn't bus lane introduce yet? No, I think we didn't. Sure. Bus lanes for the win. I think it's a good thing to have them. Especially later on. It's, uh, I mean, given the turnaround time it takes for traffic, you know, to go around, that's definitely not something to be sniffed at. Come on. Upgrade. You too, sunshine. You too, please. Mm. 
Yeah. Okay. So that should be covering that. Then we want to take a replacement vehicles. We will take the sour tusher and we will be giving those a dark red. And replace now, please. Yes. However, oh wait, cocker mouth commuter. I don't believe this is the most efficient route. And as you can see, the city has developed on the other side of the road. So what I'm trying to see if I can do at any point, let's see, medium street. Can I develop the street here? Terrain alignment collision. I thought as much. What if I take a tiny street? Yeah, that would work. See? However, I'm pretty sure I could do it nicer. I'm gonna take that tiny street and I'm gonna swing it short but sweet here. Then I'm gonna be swinging it here. See? Building some prime time real estate. Yes. Good. So this and this street will be getting its own bus lane as well because I think I'll need those pretty badly here. Is this already added here? Yes, it is. And here I cannot add the bus lane for some reason. Oh, or is it already? I wouldn't know. Okay, then we have some hilly things to go and we would like to connect this road somewhere at least. And I'll give it, it's a tricky mother to connect. So how to do it? That's the question. Medium street. If I just bridge it like this, construction not possible. Even if I try to design the most hideous bridge that I could possibly come up with, it's still not possible. Okay, come on. Here, give me a quote. Terrain alignment collision. Can I build something hideous? Nope, I cannot. Hmm, I want to catch this area somehow. Well, the station is right smack in the middle. By the way, first things first, I'll actually do this. I'll upgrade the station to a three track, which will result in some buildings getting removed and some passengers cleared. But that will be for our future expansion, so maybe that will just save us some headaches in terms of, you know, further builds. So yes, let's just smooth out this a bit. Okie dokie. Uh, now, can I build a bridge over the station? Train alignment collision? Yeah, nope. But if I build it the other way around, maybe we stand a chance. Something like this maybe terrain alignment collision oh did i find somewhere where it's not colliding come on give me the good news could i be connecting it like this perhaps i'd love to but um yeah those pillars there are fighting me tooth and nail what if I pull them a little bit closer here? If I pull them off much closer from here, two buildings will be removed. I'm aware of that. Four building, terrain alignment collision. Now, if I raise it significantly enough, it's ugly as hell and it will cost a pretty penny, but we will get connectivity, which I think it's omni important here. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Yep, done, committed. Fine. 
it will be very important for our second commuter route, guys. So, all in all, despite its painful, obvious choice, I wanted to make a conscious decision. So, second commuter route, where do we have? We currently have here West Street. Okay, so if the vehicles drive on the right, this one is catching this area, which is decent. However, I like it to go here and then catch the rest. So this is sort of like Beverly Hills with a very, very bad uh, terrain alignment collisions. So let's do a medium street going between these. Uh, too much slope, something like that. And then you going up, trying too much slope. Hmm. This is a little bit hilly stuff to actually go there. But let's see if we can actually continue this one, sort of like winding it down slowly, gently and see if the AI picks up on it. See? <laughs> yep. Well, <clears throat> you know, the AI brought it on itself, to be perfectly honest. Now, uh, let's see, upgrading the bus lanes, yes. We, I think we're gonna go here, 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 and then take a round trip. Too much slope. Which part are you having too much slope problems with? I didn't think so. See? Ah, that one. Too much slope. Oh yeah, that one. Too much slope here as well. Well, you know what? I don't care. Good. Now, assuming we said vehicles drive on the right, we want another commuter line. So, line manager, give me another line. And this one, since we're already packing me with green, this one will be light green. And this would be cock commuter north. It will be, like all lines, it will be starting here at the station. Then we need to add some more bus stops. Right, I totally forgot about that. Uh, one here. Then we will have one here on the Beverly Hills. I do want to connect a bit more though then we will have one that's ultimately connecting all of these guys before we veer down and grab this gang yeah so we said west street is the first then followed by queensway followed by south street which is in the north, completely understandable naming convention. Springfield Road and then Church Lane. Yes, so that will be Cockermouth Commuter North, interestingly enough. And I need my depot, which I have lovingly destroyed here, but let me just put it somewhere back. So, depot. Yes, and now I'm gonna buy road vehicles, Sour Tusher. I think we have a five stopper, so we want like, I don't know, let's say five buses, which all of which will be uh, hold on, which will be default color and going to the Cockermouth commuter north. Okay, that hopefully fixes this issue. And I'm almost halfway through the episode, so I have to really, you know. Now, let's see. 
goo food delivery. I think I've upgraded the road already. Yes, I did. And how much are you making me? Finances. Oh, you're a pretty profitable bugger. So, and how much food is waiting at the Cockermouth Exchange to be picked up for the goo food delivery? Let's see. A lot. So, we will do like this. Replacement. We give this Opel Blitz with a dark blue color. Yes, replace all now. Yes. And on top of it, I want to buy a couple of more. We said it will be dark blue. We will buy one, two, three, four, five more. Given this distance, that's not really that bad. And it will be goo food delivery. Good. Okay, that take that took care of that business. And now, before the AI decides to start building, I will be starting to building this high-speed tracks with containery. And I was pretty sure I'm gonna get all sorts of train alignment collisions, yes. How about if we just go like this, see? No problems. Yes. And then just like that, oop. Terrain alignment collision. Seriously? I mean, seriously. You just allowed me to put a freaking station here. So, I think I will need to reevaluate this. Perhaps. Now, track. Oh, you're colliding with that section. All right, then. Now, I assume you will no longer be colliding with that section. One building will be removed. I don't care. Thank you. So, once again, where was I? Roads, yes. Build, yes. Medium, yes. Terrain alignment collision. Oh, I think I had something like... It was white there for a second. Ah, there you go. See, with a little bit of good faith, everything can be done and upgraded correctly. Now, does that... I hope that it didn't mess up my lanes. It didn't. Great. So... I'd want... Here, do I want here a diamond crossing? I think it would be actually a good idea to be able to switch tracks if we need to. One building will be removed, yes. I never expected less, Chief. Um, how about I just continue with building track beside it and then I just split the track later on? Hmm? How about, I don't know. How about a diamond crossing here? What do you think? Can we pull it off? I'll take bets. Yeah. Where is the originating point? I think it's here. So, another junction, come on. Ooh, collision with the signal? Seriously? Oh, that's easily fixable. No problem whatsoever. So, if the problem is in the signal alone... Oh, it was. Come on, I had it. Yep. Okay, so I'll just replace the signal, put it a little bit further here but I will be placing the path signal yeah did that mess up in terms of my lines anything it didn't good be good because it shouldn't now <clears throat> we have a tricky proposition on figuring out how the hell to build up to Siloth 
and I'm thinking we can actually let the game run a bit. And uh, let me put the contour lines. I have no idea whatsoever how to build the track up to Siloth. But we have to try, right? I have to just check. This is the hill. Oh, I'm about to do something very nasty. World's longest and most expensive tunnel? Let's see. How much it would take us to build a tunnel from here? Let's say until here. 19 million? Well, assuming that we can connect the track later on, that's not so terrifying as I originally thought. So how about I just drag it onwards here? 32 million? Why are you crossing there two streams? I wouldn't want you to cross two streams. Yeah, I think this is better. Who am I ready ready to commit this? I see I see this is a high speed shuttle all the way to Siloth. Yeah, and I think that will work actually. As crazy as it sounds, guys. So I think I'm going to commit to 32.5 million. Done. That's one expensive as hell tunnel. And it's only going to get more expensive. Why, you may ask? Because I'm going to double track it. Of course. So, hmm. Yes. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. Double tracking the hell out of it. Train alignment collision? What are you colliding with, man? Hmm. I think I'll have to do it segment by segment then. Now, where was I? Here. See, no problems until there. Yep. I have no idea where I double tracked it now. Hold on. Oh, this is gonna be so funny. I think it's all the way up to here. I think it's up to here, yes. Whew! Okay. Hmm, <clears throat> let's hope the tunnel, tunnel is idiot proof, otherwise I'm in deep trouble. Now, the quickest way to the Silas. Train alignment collision, of course there is. 
I never expected anything less. No, where were we? Ah, yes. Steel bridge. Yep. Sure. Second track. Good. That means this bad boy is now double track. Awesome. So that would actually mean that we can actually start running this as a little bit more serious demand here and I'm hoping that it will pick up. However, I need a section of the track where I could actually be... Hold on, too much curvature. Come on, can you give me a nice, although short, diamond crossing here? Yes, that was what I was hoping for. Now, signals. I'm hoping one signal here, another here, another here. Then we do ones here on the transitioning step. I mean, this will be short trains, so I don't expect that I will be needing that much signals, but you never know. One inside the tunnel. Then one in front of the tunnel and one before the merger here. And here we need to merge two tracks to one. And I'm thinking I will do that somewhere just before this diamond crossing. Construction not possible. Why is it not possible? I think I've probably taken... Oh, oh yeah, I've taken double segment. Okay. Yeah. So, here and... Yeah, I don't think I will be using a signal here. Okay. Now it's time to upgrade our line and that wa line was with this train it was Silleth to Eton but actually now it will be oh this is this is actually better that it's Eton to Siloth, but now it's going to Cockermouth. So, oh, this is gonna be a funny name. I can already tell. So it will be Eat Cock. <clears throat> well, guys, to be perfectly honest, it's the game choosing the names, not me. So, yeah. <laughs> so we will have, like, the train going and please give me some more something more colorful i cannot see for the life of me yeah right now it's going as a backing service almost Do we have yeah we have a diamond crossing here so what i need to add is some signaling before i plop this up so let's put like this this and you right there chief and i think it's all it already got the picture what i wanted to do with it but i need to plop a couple of signals anyway just you know to keep things rolling maybe one here one over there come on saving yes yes saving good I don't think we need much more signals than that. However, if we go Silath, Eaton, and after Eaton, 
I want you to go again back to Siloth. And then after Siloth, I want you to go to Cockermouth. See? That will be a long drive. I'm pretty sure of it. And given that it will be a long drive, what I want to be doing, I want to be placing multiple trains, that's for sure. So you are now going to Siloth. Good. And I think I'll need additional depot. I, you know, for beautification reasons, I could be plopping another depot in the opposite direction, which I just might do. And I'll just rotate it here. See, so it's sort of like this. And then it takes the track to connect to this one. Yes. And it takes a semaphore before doing so. Sure. And then we will be buying trains. I will be buying another red arrow. And you will be going to the Eatcock line. Yes. So that's one more train going up there. What I'm hoping for is that this would drive enough demand. So, oh look, here's the AI trying to figure out its existence in uh, all kinds of funny ways. Let's help it out a little bit. Oh, tiny road? No. Tiny street? Another tiny street? Another? Uh, this looks more like it. In the ugliest way possible, but yeah, I'll let it figure out for itself. Good. Hold on. Why are you going? Where are you going? You're going to Cocker. You're going to Eaton again? Why are you going to Eaton again? Did I mess up something with the line? <laughs> Interesting enough. So, you know what? Pause. I'm gonna reprogram this line all together. We said Eaton to Cockermouth, right? So, we start with Eaton. Then, we take Siloth. Then, we take Cocker mouth. So far, so good. Then we take Siloth. And then we go back to Eaton. Yes, good. And now both of those trains were trying to come to Eaton, which is definitely not going to happen. Okay, let's just keep this track highlighted. Where are you, Sunshine? You are here. So you, oh, that's you. Okay, you will be going to Siloth back. Now let's play. You should be switching here. You are. Good. <clears throat> and then I expect you to continue going towards Cockermouth. So please do me the favor and do just that, will you? Yes, you are, which is awesome. And let's keep of track of the other one as well, shall we? It's going to Eaton. The moment that one gets to Eaton, I will be getting another... I'll be getting another line. And let's hope that this works as 
advertised. This should be a fast bridge. Okay, this one is now going to Siloth. Okay, so the moment that one gets to Siloth, I think I'll be shipping another one to Eaton. And then we will hopefully have enough, more or less, trains to run this as a good, you know, circular line. Let me just see how much... Uh, seven minutes altogether, which I considering, I mean, the speed and everything is pretty handy dandy. So... Hmm. Let's see if we can come in for, you know, a coming welcoming shot of maybe even my trams coming in here while the, my red arrow comes in. I really like the looks of this game. I mean, it's really amazing. I was thinking on putting up, you know, a scenic route where these cars would be going, but then again it wouldn't be a fast commuter, which was actually sort of my main jive for the line. And you can see it how fast the red arrow is coming. And I can hear my tram, which means I'll be killing this off, so in order to hopefully get a good shot, come on. Come on, before you leave, please. Tram. There you are. Awesome. Okay, one more purchase, I think. Buy trains. One more red arrow. Buy. And also you need to go and eat car line, which is eaten to Cockermouth, of course. And I'm hoping that by the time that one gets to Eaton, our other train is already... Yeah, you see, it's already going back. So I think the three trains on this line will be sort of a, like a sweet spot, which is great. I'd say that pretty much covers up this lot and we have a holy cow amount of bread waiting to go where? Oakham to Brearley food line? Oh well, that one is gonna be picked up right away, so I'm not overly concerned. Because I believe this is, yeah, this is the food line. <laughs> what about these bulk? Meltham food bulk is, wow. Chipping Sodbury. We need more ships going to Chipping Sodbury, Chipping Sodbury. I think I'll reassign you to the Meltham food bulk actually. This is the Melham food bulk as well. Okay, good, yes. This is Chipping Sodbury and this is Meltham. So I have two ships going on the Meltham food bulk, okay. But you are full and you are about to leave. And another one coming. I think that pretty defines well. Production is high. But I'll need to get better at distributing things. And uh, my shipping lines to Chipping Sodbury are almost getting clogged by the amount of 
stuff, which I means I will be needing to um, think about trains sooner rather than later to the Chipping Sudbury. But that will be happening, I'm guessing, mostly in the next episode. So let me set up a nice passing shot of, let's say, this fella coming in. The old and the new, and the new buildings have come, ruining completely the immersion. Oh, just beautiful. Let me see, can I get a better angle on this? Something like that. Hmm. Maybe. Okay, guys. So with this, uh, with this view, I would like to thank you all for watching. Like if you like the series. Hit subscribe for more Transport Fever content. Especially now that we have a Transport Fever week here on Groundworks. And I guess I will be seeing you all in the next episode as soon as the rubble clears. So once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Like if you like, subscribe for more, and this is Groundworks signing off from somewhere near, uh, I believe this is Brearley. Oh, yes, and one more place to just plop on the signal before joining in. Do I need another one? I don't think I don't. Well, that's it. Thank you very much and bye.